Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Uh, I'm Dave Hayes and we are going to go over Carbon ROM for the Nexus 6. Um, I'm going to do things a little bit different this time. Uh, it's a little different format. Uh, I'm going to do the video basically as flashed uh, so you guys get a picture of what it looks like when you flash the ROM. Um, I got a um, request to do my videos that way this time. Um, and not to put Nova Launcher on there, not to have any custom icons. Please do not theme it. Uh, so I figured I'd give it a try. Uh, if you guys like it this way, let me know. Uh, I will continue to do it like this. Um, you know, I have no, I have no problems doing it this way. Um, so let's go ahead and get on with this. Uh, just let me know in the comments whether you want me to uh, keep going like this. I just hate white, guys. You know that. I hate white. Uh, let's see, it is Carbon ROM for the Nexus 6 Android version 7.1.1. Uh, it's got the uh, J uh, January 5th security patch. Uh, I'm sure they're working on Janu or on the February patch, although I don't care. Um, I have nothing I'm hiding or worried about as far as security goes on my device. I don't use it that way. I do get it. Some of you guys do. Uh, and I understand why you would want those security patches. So. Um, you know, just keep checking. I'm sure that they'll have it soon. Uh, they do build weeklies, I think. I'm also running Blackbird Kernel, um, just because of my the features that I want are not in the supplied kernel. Multi-ROM support, uh, quick charge features, none of that uh, is in the uh, as as flashed kernel. So if you want those, you're gonna have to flash a kernel. You know, uh, ES uh, or EX, uh, Elemental X. That's what I mean. Um, singularity, uh, flash kernel, you know, some of those other ones, any of them really, uh, usually have those features. Um, but again, the uh, kernel that comes with it, I've actually run this ROM with the supplied kernel, and it does run pretty good. Uh, under the custom features, which are called carbon fibers, first up is going to be system. Um, you have your power notification controls, then we have power menu. Um, if you want to turn on or off your advanced reboot, that's where you do that at. They give you quite a few options to choose from. Uh, as far as you, your power menu goes, these are your animations. Uh, recents, um, you have your clear all, clear all button, location. They give you six spots for that. Uh, they do give you a memory bar, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and then, of course, immersive recents. Uh, I go with full screen. You know, you guys can choose what you want with that. Next up is going to be status bar. Um, they have the status bar percentage, uh, 4G, LTE, you know, your icons, you can pick and choose what you want to show uh, in the status bar. It's all up to you and what you want. Uh, let's see, quick settings are next. Uh, you have your show brightness slider, advanced data uh, tile, uh, which I kind of like that. Uh, and then, of course, uh, vibrate on touch. Uh, if you guys want uh, that, uh, you know, that feedback, uh, the vibration feedback, make sure you turn that on. Uh, that way, if it's, you know, whatever dark, you're groping around, you'll be able to tell you get that uh, vibration. Uh, let's see. I think I went quick settings already. Yes. Um, traffic indicators. Um, this is going to be if you want to, your uh, outgoing, incoming, or one or the other, or not at all. Um, this is going to be where you set that up at. Uh, you can disable it, you know, pick outgoing, incoming, or none. Uh, your intervals, of course. Uh, for its, um, you know, updating, uh, and then you can click auto hide if you want. You don't even have to run with it. Um, I just actually just have it on just to show you. I normally don't run with it unless I can color it. Uh, it just gives me a little more splash up there. Um, let's see. Clock settings are next. It's pretty much standard here. Uh, they do give you the right, left, center, uh, or none at all features for the clock. Uh, then you have your AM, PM, date, style, style, and your date format. Headers are up next, and no, the ROM does not come with headers at all. Uh, basically, what the um, what the settings are, it, it just allows uh, it, you can pick and choose what you want in your header. You know, uh, you know the edit icon, the multi-user switch, expanded uh, you know indicator. Um, you're basically just you know picking whether you want them showing or not. Uh, and last but not least, under status bar is your carrier label. If you guys want to run with a custom carrier label, or if you don't want to run with a label, you know, pick it. Uh, I actually have lock screen um, and the status bar both, and I, I went with carbon. Uh, if you guys don't want anything at all, all you have to do is click on that disable, 
and you can disable it. If you want to run with Verizon or Sprint or whatever, uh, you just click on that. You click, um, you know, whatever you want, and then you go with, uh, you know, cancel. Um, anyways, uh, let me see here. Oh, if you don't put anything in to begin with, it will it'll it will show your uh, regular, um, you know, whether it's Verizon Sprint or whatever. That's what it was. Uh, that's pretty much it for the status bar. Next up is going to be your buttons. Uh, let's see, you have your enable Pixel Home button, um, reorient, uh, volume rocker wake, playback controls, uh, volume up and down for disturb. Yes, I have that. So if I uh, click the volume down on this real quick, um, I do have mine and do not disturb. Uh, this is the 11th time I've started this video. And it's just crazy. I had to put my phone into do not disturb mode in order for me to get through this. Um, which I like that. Uh, that's a feature I actually like. Uh, you do not disturb switch. Uh, let's see. Yes. Uh, I like that too because you can actually put that switch on the volume panel. So if I was to turn my volume up like that, I could click end now and it would get rid of that. It, or if it wasn't enabled and I'd click my volume up or down, um, that's, that would be there for me to either turn on or off, which is pretty cool. Uh, you do have the edit navigation bar right here. And it's basically just, this would be how you would switch your keys around, your nav bar uh, keys, by physically grabbing them and sliding them where you want. And then you'd click save, okay? That's how you do it. That uh, little equal sign, or you might even be able to click on the name itself, press and hold. Nope, you have to actually hit the uh, equal sign, press and hold, and then you can physically move it where you want, okay? That's how you do it. Uh, and then when you're done, you would click save. Okay, so... Like, say I would move this down to here and move, uh, let me see, there, there, and if I was to click save, that's how it would look. <laughs> and I'm going to reset that, <laughs> but that's how you do that. So you can play with that, uh, do with it what you want. Um, they do give you the preview window, so it kind of gives you an idea of what it looks like before you hit it, uh, but that's how you would... Uh, that's how you would change that. Uh, next up is going to be lights. Basically, your battery light, your notification lights. Um, and it is basic. Uh, you know, this is your basic um, Nougat setup. Um, so there's nothing really different about that. Uh, lock screen settings. You have your lock screen torch, uh, scramble pin, and uh, lock screen battery info. Under gestures. Now, this is going to be your double tap um, status bar to sleep and your double tap lock screen to sleep if you want it turn them on uh, they do have the uh, uh, jump uh, to camera which is basically double tap on your uh, power menu and then lift to check phone uh, for messages miscellaneous is up next and that's going to give us our toast icons uh, your screenshot type which is what I kind of like this um, even though I take full screen screenshots um, they do give you the, uh, the, you know, the option to go with the drag selection uh, on the area, which means uh, when you would do a screenshot, you would get an outline first, and you would put that outline where, you know, on the, the part of the screen you want to take the screenshot of. I just use full screen re uh, screenshots because once I'm done, I have the ability to edit that, and then I could crop it down where I wanted it anyway, so I just go uh, full screen. But you guys can go with whatever you want. Uh, scrolling cache should be here if you want to make any changes on that. Uh, this is where you can go for that. And of course, I'm running uh, as flashed. Uh, so it's going to be default enabled. Um, let's see. Privacy is up next. This is basically just your privacy guard. You know, hide apps from recent stuff like that. Uh, that's where you're going to go to do that at. And last but not least are your carbon statistics. You can enable reporting. It comes as flashed this way. Since the review is almost over, I'm shutting that off. I don't want them getting any information off my phone. I know that it's anonymous, but I still would rather not. Uh, that's pretty much it for carbon fibers. Uh, I will go over my normal, the display, volume, uh, stuff like that. Um, you know, there's nothing really out of the ordinary here. Um, really, uh, I don't see anything different. You can go with the ambient display if you want. Uh, cast is all the way close to the bottom there. Uh, you do have your rotation all the way at the bottom, and of course, right above that, your auto rotate screen. Uh, sound, uh, pretty standard. Um, they don't give you the switch to, you know, um, 
to either have your volume uh, for your ringtone and notifications connected and you can actually have them different. They don't give you that option on here. I kind of wish they did. I like that feature, but they don't. Um, they're just connected together all the time. Uh, and under other, these are your other settings. Uh, you guys can actually go through there and do what you want with that too. Um, that is pretty much it for your sound settings. We're going to scroll down here to uh, security. I'll let you guys see the security settings. Um, again, there's really nothing out of the ordinary on that. It's pretty much the same too. Make sure you guys have that unknown sources turned on. Uh, that is if you want to uh, install any uh, third-party apps or you know anything off of your internal storage, anything like that. You're going to want to have that turned on. And uh, last but not least, we're going to hit security or your uh, uh, developer options. Uh, these are your developer options here. You have your Android debugging. Make sure you guys make sure you have that on, man. That's going to save your ass. I'm telling you. Um, it does come at. Uh, it comes set at point one. See, I, I I hate this. I hate this slider. I really hate it. That's how it comes set. Okay, just so you guys know, uh, I always set mine at point five. Uh, for Nougat, anyways, it really works nice at 0.5 for Nougat. Um, that is pretty much it, guys. Well, that is it for Carbon ROM for the Nexus 6. Um, again, uh, this is the new format that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try maybe for this one, maybe a couple more videos. We'll see. Uh, and I will go by the comments section on whether or not you guys want me to theme it uh, or anything like that. I can tell you I did try the theming. Actually, let me turn some lights on and I will, I'll even try the camera for you, let you guys see it. Um, it, all, it all works. Camera works. Um, theming works. Let me hit the camera here real quick. No, that's not the camera. You dumbass. <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll hit the camera here real quick. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's the camera. I'll take a picture here real quick. Take another picture, like I see. See, it, it, it works. It's got the HDR. Everything's working on it. Um, I, I did try some video. Uh, the video is working very well. Um, I'm trying to think of anything that doesn't work on here, and I can't think of anything. Um, no. Anyways, guys, uh, I can tell you right now, it's working great. Not a lot of features to this ROM, uh, but I would, you know, I would uh, definitely recommend it if you're looking for a ROM. Uh, that's, uh, you know, that's just got, you know, just the standard features, um, I would say, yeah, go for it. Um, if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I want to thank all of my subscribers. Uh, and, oh, yes, Substratum, or sub, listen to me, I can't talk. Substratum does work. Uh, I've actually been running themes. Um, but, again, I, I didn't want to show a theme on this. Uh, but I did want you guys to know that it does work, okay? Um, so guys, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I do want to thank all of my subscribers, and I will see you all on the next one.